Hello, people. I hope y'all are having a, an awesome day, morning, night, whatever. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make a video, quick video. Uh, I made a post on Facebook and I mentioned that uh, how, well, yeah, uh, yesterday was a pretty awesome day. Uh, I met some people, or actually, uh, I had a conversation with some people that I had met a couple of weeks ago, and uh, these people are uh, very aware. They're about my age, um, even though on they may appear to be what a lot of people would just consider average people, you know, not... Uh, not necessarily uh, high, uh, you know, the higher awareness which you normally, um, you know, on online anyway, people that have this out of the box mentality or, or a more, and I hate to use this word, but a more maybe liberal outlook on things, but Honestly, um, li liberal is the word liberal has fallen victim to this, uh, I don't know, to this meme, I guess, of society these days that, uh, you know, liberal is, a, is this extreme, uh, everything should be free. Uh, everybody's entitled to something or whatever, but it's only according to whatever the those guidelines for that label of uh, the word liberal is. Uh, but anyway, so uh, these people are are very well educated. They've uh, had a lot of experiences, you know, real life experiences. Uh, in their lives and we weren't talking about really any kind of woo woo stuff or anything like that it was uh, more the uh, the psyche of the human uh, the mentality of the human uh, the relationships uh, the interacting relationships <coughs> excuse me of the between humans and uh, that and and just the general mentality of societies and stuff like that and it, and it it was a very enjoyable conversation and and we probably conversed for I don't know four or five hours and uh, and and everybody uh, I think gained something or at least it was uh, enjoyable for everybody and this was you know stated by all of us at within this con you know at some point within this conversation so it was really truly uh, it, it was it was blessed and I know I, I use that word a lot here lately but but it's true and uh, when a person takes the time uh, and depending on I guess what uh, what plateau they're at mentally or what their experience has been you know and how they've uh, the better they know themselves I guess I'll put it that way the better they know themselves uh, they understand themselves and that that results in a better understanding of your environment, the world around you, and the, and the things that are within that environment. Uh, for instance, other people, other human beings, animals, nature, you know, the planet, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and it's refreshing when, for me anyway, it's, re it's very refreshing. And, and these other people, they, they 
had uh, expressed the same sentiments that you know it's just so uncommon these days to uh, to have interaction or conversations with people you know at that level uh, and, and it's truly a, a travesty as far as I'm concerned for society and cultures uh, and not necessarily I, I hadn't spent a lot of time outside of uh, the United States but uh, here in the United States it, that's what it seems to be that it's it's not that common to to have these uh, uplifting conversations with people because everybody's so distracted so busy uh, practicing unwittingly the mammonism <laughs> that, that goes on um, so yeah I just wanted to say that yeah yesterday was was an awesome day as far as that was concerned and not only that later in the evening uh, I was uh, fortunate enough to uh, to meet uh, some other people uh, had some uh, authentic uh, Salvadorian food which basically is kind of you know Latin food or uh, you know what have you kind of spicy it was really good I really enjoyed it and and the people people were awesome which brings me to something else, a subject that I brought up in the post that I made yesterday, or last night, yesterday evening. Um, it's been my experience, and, and this isn't to, uh, from the from the parameters and I say that as uh, from the amount of people that I've been interacting with here lately in the past month or so uh, and generally I can uh, you know say this from my previous experience you know just living life but it seems that to put it in a general in general terms it seems that the ratio between people that are have struggled or have uh, come from maybe a different culture or backgrounds or whatever those people tend to seem to be more compassionate towards other human beings and more charitable towards you know their fellow human beings rather than people that are born and raised within this and I hate to say this but I, I'm just I'm saying this to bring maybe bring attention to so that somebody might stop and think about this but it seems that people that are born and raised, for the most part, and, and have not experienced quite as a, uh, not experienced not quite the same economic struggles or uh, maybe mental or uh, would have you difficulties you know within their lives uh, the people that aren't born and raised here the Im a lot of the immigrants now I'm not saying this doesn't I'm not throwing a blanket over all this and covering all of it but the people that I have interacted with recently and there have been a lot of immigrants, there have been a lot of uh, people that are just maybe hadn't had as, a, as what a lot would consider uh, a normal or more fortunate type of existence up until whatever point it was that, you know, that we interacted. 
but the people that have have struggled or have not maybe had as easy a life as most would consider it uh, they're more compassionate and more more charitable um, and whereas people that you know have gone the status quo route you know done this done that you know followed all the rules everything blah 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 those people are, are a lot of them and, I, and I'm again the all these words that that we speak that to me they're just labels but they're ways that their words and that we until something else comes along their words that we have to use to communicate with but it's selfishness and that selfishness uh, is it uh, Douglas Gabriel and Tyler Gabriel they had put out uh, on the the intelligence I got it wrong the other day. I still I, I don't recall what the name of their channel is, but they do a lot of they put a lot of stuff out um, regarding uh, the, let's say just the political uh, landscape on the political landscape. But they did a, a several video series on the history of banking and whatever and they referred to uh, mammon which is you know just greed it's one of the you know it's part of the se seven deadly sins and, and with that greed comes uh, selfishness and uh, and that's what I've experienced or seem to have observed anyway that there's a lot of uh, Greed, and I, and I'm not saying people set out to be greedy, but I think people are being subconsciously through the media, you know, uh, commercials and what have you, and then through the general business model and the mentality of the the people that are uh, that have influence over these business models. Uh, it is a very materialist. Uh, perspective and uh, it, it takes uh, or tries to eliminate any spirituality out of uh, the uh, the situation which leads to uh, a selfishness selfishness and greed and you know, America, its society is based. You know, nobody comes out and says this officially, <coughs> but it seems to be when you talk, speak with people, it seems to be an underlying, a major underlying uh, mindset that, you know, and subconsciously uh, has been conditioned or programmed into the minds of people and it's and it leads to this idea of scarcity making more you know being able to generate more profits from scarcity of things you know if something is scarce it's considered uh, more uh, more valuable or it, it has the potential to become something a lot more valuable and with today's technologies as much as we have and things that we've learned and that things that could be developed and such uh, scarcity should not should not be an issue anywhere for anyone and that cover you know that that is very that very strongly influences the medical industry health industry uh, the financial industry, the housing industry, it, it, the food industry, it, it affects everything. And I'm, I'm very concerned about this and have been for a long time because I've seen this. Uh, I've experienced it. And this is, this is not a, for, for the whole of the, the planet, the world, 
that is not a sustainable or it's not a, a, a mindset or a philosophy or what have you that would that promotes and supports uh, a sustainable system you know economically uh, health wise uh, uh, and all across the board and I, something uh, either something will have to change or uh, you know all that everybody is struggling for and everybody it, it, continuing along this this path uh, will cease to exist so is that is that the goal is is it that you know people don't realize this uh, you know the uh, like I said with with the mammonism the mammon the greed the the selfishness the uh, apathy of society we're killing ourselves we're punishing ourselves and everyone around us uh, for things it seems to me that aren't it, it's all it's all fake you know you got fake news but everything else is fake as well no sincerity uh, so yeah I don't want this this uh, video to drag on I know y'all you know I'm not the most exciting uh, orator or speaker or, or reporter or whatever you want to call it call me uh, but anyway yeah I just wanted to say that yeah that's what I've that's been my observation is that I noticed that people that have had to struggle a little you know a little harder and had or have had a more more of a struggle throughout their lives their experiences and such uh, to a degree now this like I said this isn't a blanket that covers everything and and, and uh, relates you know or is the uh, you know, set standard or anything by any means for me or should be for anybody or shouldn't be for anybody else but I see people that have struggles and all uh, in many cases that they are of a much uh, more let's say they're on the same page to help humanity you know they, they want to see their fellow humans you know their their families they want to see it, see people uplifted and and to have uh, a better li better lives in general, and you don't see that as much from people that have been able to uh, for whatever reasons uh, that have been able to game the system as it is because the system seems to promote a selfishness an, an apathy uh, uh, an environment of greed which I think is, is strongly influenced and in, in probably one of the main uh, issues of society which is the artificial intelligence money meme that's been we've humanity's been using for thousands and thousands of years uh, or at least in recent recorded history uh, you know that, that we know of and it's just a shame to see that happen and there and you know uh, there are cycles and if people don't understand and this is said been said countless times and by many people you know if we don't learn from our mistakes if we don't learn from history then history repeats itself and uh, you know we we have an idea that all these 
you know, prior civilizations have bit the dust for whatever. Some say, you know, cataclysm, earth changes, or whatever. But what I'm saying is, maybe that came about because, you know, call it a natural weather phenomenons or, or cataclysms or whatever. But how about thinking about it in this in these terms that maybe that came about because of the collective uh, psyche of the beings of humanity because we we do generate we create what we experience and if if a system is is designed or has slipped into this condition of uh, you know subconsciously or within the collective conscious or whatever of this greed and destruction and of apathy and and ill health and you know all this maybe you know that has actually brought about these catastrophic changes you know but but we we it's it's simply th that type of thing is simply blamed on oh well that's the way it is that's the way it always has been but apparently we hadn't learned anything <laughs> humanity hasn't learned anything from from history and uh, you know if it's never been attempted or or if it's never been accomplished how do we know that it isn't the collective conscious the, that it isn't our uh, psyche the human psyche or whatever that that has brought these cataclysms about just by you know the the nat the the way that we have been conditioned to think and to build our civilizations it's not based on anything but basically greed if you look at most of all of these great empires and such they're based on greed and uh, power and money and who can get the most toys and and be the most comfortable without any consideration about the rest of the the world, the planet, the the populations. So it's just a thought. Uh, you know, I put something out there, and there are changes coming about. I think that they can be curbed. They could be uh, neutralized, so to speak, so that we, you know, there wouldn't be these catastrophic uh, events that happen. But these mammonists or uh, the, the, the practice of mammonism uh, or the mammonites that uh, continue to cultivate and propagate that um, yeah it, it's just I guess they're hoping that people are going to remain stupid long enough but in actuality they're they're committing a, a a slow suicide themselves or humanity you know with with that uh, that mindset that mentality that uh, philosophy of uh, living life and, and such but anyway so I'm gonna cut this off y'all have a great day have a blessed day I thought it was gonna be raining today and I'd made a post that it you know this is gonna be a contract contracting type of day but looks pretty sunshiny now a few clouds but it looks like it's going to be a nice day so I'll be headed somewhere to get online and post this video a little later so y'all take care uh, you know enjoy life enjoy other people find 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 something you know, to be positive about with your interactions with other people, with, you know, with, if somebody's doing something to, to upset you or, or that upsets you or whatever, 
you know, just stop and take a second, you know, and, and not that you have to uh, try to change your mind about being upset or anything, but but just try to think about something that, hey, well, at the very least, uh, well, okay, that's just something, you know, a little bump in the road. Uh, it doesn't need to upset me the way uh, that it does. Uh, or you could look at it another way. Uh, uh, you know, I'm not going to allow that to upset me, to ruin my day or ruin, you know, a good feeling or whatever. When life is, it can be so much more and, and for yourself and everybody else without all this negativity and apathy and all that goes along with that. So I'm out of here. See y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.